Hello, this is Haku Dabin, and today we are going to be reading For the Republic. I did not know why that was capitalized. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this video. Uh, right into it. Caliphate, a city of opulent splendor and obscene poverty. Caliphate is a place where fortunes and came and went as quickly as the sunset. Caliphate, the beating, chaotic heart of the new world that had been born from the remnants of the old. Caliphate, where Miller was currently wondering why he had done something more interesting with his life than take up his father's dilapidated antique shop. Here I sit, he said out loud to nobody but the gods. A plain store for a plain existence. Unlike his brother who made a uh, fortune and had met in a untimely death, venturing into lost situs for wonders. He had chosen the honorable profession of maintaining the family shop. Here there were no old magical leftover relics of the gods, maybe some had been in gear so many when he walked among mortals, but they were mundane in both appearance and power. Strange rusted devices, including one shaped like a flex arm with some sort of horizontal hole on it that he was idly toying with now. That no use to the people of his time, coexisted with stacks of books in the old language. Even as the city scribes had begun the slow process of reintroducing a written form of the human tongue, none had deciphered the words of the agents, least of all an old man like himself. Only the good will of scribes and the curiosity of children and a few adults gave him enough money to pay for both food and tax. As he watched people pass by his small nook in the open air market with low interest, he contemplated whether or not he would have liked to have died in a situ seeking adventure, or most suicidally of all, going south. Why live if I only breathe and sleep amidst scrolls and devices I cannot understand? A loud thump on his all snapped him out of his dreary contemplation. He looked up and saw a familiar face as he adjusted his, his glasses. Ah, Kaleen, he smiled as a young man idly brushed dirt off his arms. Even when you bring me something I could never sell in a thousand seasons, you are fine company. Thank you, Omelar, Kaleen replied, politely returning to smile. With your blessing, our fortunes will rise soon. Have said, we may hey, join the citizens of Northern and Caliphate in wealth. Bah, even with all the riches of this city, I would not want to spend my time with those insufferable fools. Colleen was hardly surprised at his reaction. They'd had the same conversation nearly every time he had fetched the old man a relic. So this time, he, however, he hoped their routine talk would shift in a different direction. I have come across a strange tome found while I was trading with the local tribes. Mellie raised his eyebrow. Trading. Alright, I stole it from their relic collection. Raspy cackling laugh skipped his, it skipped his mouth. You should know better by now than to tread on me. Continue. Look at the symbol on it. He did so and saw an ancient book with a dark cover, cover and some sort of half circle with a line through it, surrounded by another circle. It is unusual, I will concede, but what does it mean? It's not the symbol itself, but rather the effect reading it has. Take it and see for yourself. Very well, I... Wait. Did you say reading? Yes, I was not able to understand the old languages I read, but when I opened another tome, it did not have the same effect. First time since he had met Kalin. He was speechless. They had finally found a wonder, a book in the old language that could be understood. The scribes would murder, would murder their mothers to possess this, he finally managed. And yet you brought it to me. Killian smiled again, more warmly than before. You know I am not from Caliphate originally. A tribe to the west of here. Among my people there is a safe thing. He who breaks a bond will be broken by the gods. 
You are my friend, Mallor. I will not abandon you in our hour of greatest triumph. Mallor felt not only excitement but gratitude. In an age where most had no had to hire guards to leave the trading rooms, honest souls were hard to come by. Thank you, Colleen. He started satisfied. He now turned his mind. What was the subject of this tome? Now Colleen's face showed utter confusion. I do not know. Even as I read the words, it did not make sense. The concepts that uh, seems to be based on are ones I do not understand. I was hoping you might be able to make better sense of it than I. Mellor obliged his request and began to carefully open the creaking ancient book. It seemed starting to break even as he turned over the cover. The front page contained words that he could and, and could not understand. General Guidelines for Anti-Public Draftees Repetitive Division Public Domain Protection Service No Rights It's Reserved now what the heck does this mean? Hmm. SV thirty-one eighty-five, and SV thirty-two eighty-five. I guess I'll find out another time. You're right, he said slowly. I am able to read the language of the ancients as I see this book. He wrote idly another relic with writing on it and found it just as incomprehensible as always. The cognitive distance of the two facts gave him a mild headache. He looked around and was pleased to see his child's poor reputation working to his advantage. <clears throat> as their revolutionary conversation was decisively ignored by Call of Height. <coughs> But does not make sense, does it? Miller Colleen asked. Miller returned page of the it's home. Though Marn earned vocabulary locked the word, he would have described it as anticlimactic. Here he was with the key to unlocking the ancient words. No, it doesn't at all. What on earth is a retrieval mission? The gods imparting duties on us, perhaps. I have never heard of any god's follower as everything a public domain. All of the world is the domain of the gods. At a loss for words, he decided enough had been said. Colleen, thank you for bringing me this. After Sad said, I will spend the evening going through this tome and attempting to make sense of it. We'll be here at the opening of the shop tomorrow. As you wish, Miller. Good luck. In another world and another time, a computer mods are stirred with sudden life. Temporal consultation requested. It can't be. It is. Temporal science is infallible. An activation? After all this time? Centuries? Millennia even? I am as confused as you, but we must stay true to the ideals of the service, even as our purpose is defunct. It may not be defunct anymore. Miller blinked. He was in his shop, sighting the strange tongue with a half circle on it. He blinked again and the world was gone. So it was nothing. A pitch black void was given features only by the strange white table, with a chair on one side of it. Not knowing what to do, he walked towards the table and sat down in the chair. Miller. A voice echoed throughout the featureless landscape, reminding him of his exploration of abandoned caves as a child. What is this? He said, barely audible from sheer surprise. Where am I? Where is my shop? And who are you? Answers will only lead to more questions. We will select them carefully.
Now part of the black void was illuminated by the strange symbol he had seen on the book. We are the Public Domain Protection Service. In the old world, we took those who suppressed knowledge from, from future generations and made them atone for their crimes. It's the same method that brought you here. Now, however, we can no longer draw on either the future or the past. The world died and knowledge of ancient culture died with it. We do not know how you discovered one of our handbooks, but you are here now. And we need your help. Help? Now Miller was confused. I am a middling old merchant with one good friend in the world. What help could I possibly be? We have investigated things about your life using the old methods. You lack purpose and desire to contribute to something greater. You preserve the past, even as you do not understand it. You are in spirit the perfect candidate for our republic efforts. Are you what? The republic of the new world. The knowledge of the past will be restored to the future. Now he was excited. You could teach me the language of the ancients? I could unlock their secrets? We could, yes, and we shall. But your mission is more important than that. We cannot save the world, not with our methods, but we can preserve the memories of it. Meller, you shall become the first man since the apocalypse to undergo a retrieval mission. You will be sent thousands of years into the past and must navigate the alien world to bring its items back to your time. Time travel, something that the old man could scarcely conceive of, just as he could scarcely conceive of vanishing and reappearing in this area. Yet if there were, if these were not servants of the gods, they clearly possess the same powers as them. This will take time, of course. It has been many years since we last attempted this, and given the extreme the temporal distance, you must undergo a cultural training session. But it can be done. And so it was. In a bookshop up in Anvar, a dark-skinned old man walks inside and purchases a gift for the future. And that was for the Republic. Let's see. That's fine. That was... For the Republic from the Bellaverse canon. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Who knows what we're going to be doing tomorrow? But until then, goodbye!